In this session, I will show you how to set up the inventory management on your store. So this way you will be able to specify how much items you have for each of your products. So you can do things like displaying the remaining stock on your product page or removing products that are out of stock so people can't buy them and there is no mistake. So let's go. Let me show you how that works. So here we are on the store. And first of all, we go to the dashboard and then we go to the settings, then product, then inventory. And here you want to tick the box enable stock management. So if on your side it is not ticked like this, you just want to enable it like that. Okay. So then the next option that we have is how long you want to hold the stock. So basically, if someone go to your store, add a product to their cart, but don't buy yet, how long you want to keep this product for this person? 10,000 minutes for me is way too much. You want to do something lower than that. So for example, 60 minutes. So which means if this person doesn't buy 60 minutes after this person adds your product to the cart, then this product will be available again to buy for other customers. So this is good. Let's do 60 minutes. Then you can enable notification to yourself when you have a product that is low in stock and when it's out of stock. So that's pretty cool. Here you put your email address. And then here you can define what does low stock mean for you. Is it two items? Is it 10 items? So you can define the threshold here and also the threshold for out of stock if you want to define different values. So I will leave it by default. Then here you can decide if you want to hide the product that are out of stock from your catalog. So catalog means everywhere there is a list of your product. So for example, it can be your category pages, or it can also be at the bottom of your product page where we added the section to display the related product. So if you tick these bots, then the product that are out of stock won't be displayed here neither. And then you can decide if you want to always show the quantity or not. So what I like to do is to only show the quantity when the stock is low. So then it creates some scarcity because people see that there is really just a few items left. So that's good. Then you save and then we can go to the product and we will find some more settings there to manage the inventory per product. So let's go to product, all product. So first let's check for a simple product. So for example, our boot here, then you can manage the inventory of this product here into the inventory tab. First of all, you can define the SKU if it's something that you have and that you want to use, and then you can track stock quantity for this product. Then if you don't want to try the stock quantity for this product, you still have three options in stock, out of stock or on back order. So this way you can manually control the status of your product, but you can also track the stock quantity by just enabling this feature here. And then you can enter the stock that you have. So for example, we have 100 of this book and we can define if we want to allow the back orders or not. For me, I will allow them. You can define different low stock threshold if you want, or just keep the one that we have set up into the global settings of the store. And then if you want, you can also limit the purchase to one item per order, if it's something that you want to do. And then once this is done, you just save. And here we go. It's that simple. Now we have 100 items of this product in stock. When somebody buy the quantity will go down automatically. We will receive an email when we hit the low stock threshold. And as we enable the back orders, then people will still be able to buy it. So that's it for inventory management. So let me just show you quickly how it works for variable products. So let's open a variable product. When you have a variable product, you can either enable stock management for all the variation. So if you go here into inventory and then track stock quantity and you put something here, it will include all the variation. So for example, if I put 100, as I have free variation of this product, then it will be 100 in total for the free variations. Okay. If you want to specify different stock quantity for each variation, then you just enable manage stock here. And now we have the exact same settings stock quantity, back orders, low stock threshold, but for this specific variation. And you can do that for each of your variation. So this way you can manage the stock of each of your variation independently. That's it for the inventory management. By just following these few steps, you can manage your inventory automatically on your store. Well, let's keep going and I will see you in the next session.